All right, painting class, you are going to have one more assignment before we start the first uh, painting that you're going to do at home. So the first part of the assignment is doing three color charts. So I've done one right here, and you're going to do each one, you're going to do a different color. So I did a blue one from blue, and each time it gets a little lighter till I got to white. And you're going to do three of these, and you're going to pick three colors on the color wheel. It can be any color you want. It's easy to do the primaries, blue, red, and yellow. That is the easiest, but if you want to play with different colors, you can do that. So three color values. The second um, chart you're going to do is complementing colors, and you're going to also do that three times. Complementary colors are the colors across from each other in the color wheel. So blue and orange is a color complementary color, red and green, uh, yellow and violet, yellow, green, and red violet. So any colors across from each other on the color wheel. I'm going to do blue and orange, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is I put my colors out. So the blue, I did a mixture of the two the two. Uh, primary color or the two blues we have phthalo and ultramarine blue and now I'm going to mix my orange the cadmium is a really hot red so I don't need that much uh, yellow to make orange so okay it looks pretty red um, you know you have it right when you mix blue and orange together and you get like a weird brown color instead of green. If you're getting green, it's probably, yeah. Yeah, this is perfect. So when I mix them together, I got like a neutral kind of grayish color. That means I know I have my colors mixed properly. So the orange is a little bit more orange than we would expect. I mean, a little more red than we would expect. Um, if your orange is too yellow, you end up with a green color when you mix them together. All right, so this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna start with blue. I'm going to put the blue down right here. And then I'm gonna add to my blue a little bit of orange. I don't want to add too much orange too fast. So you can see this color is becoming more neutral. So what happens when you add complementary colors is they become more neutralized. So we're gonna just keep doing this till we get to kind of a brown color. Um, students will say that they these colors are really like gross and yucky uh, and that is true but you need to know how to make those neutrals and kind of yucky colors along with the beautiful bright colors too. Ooh, I think that went too red. Okay. So with the blue and orange, it kind of makes a black. Okay, now we're gonna start going to the red side. Or the orange side, sorry. Orange, not red. So it's got a little bit more brown. Ooh, probably put too much red, huh? I don't know if that was much different. I keep calling that red, but it's technically orange, even though it looks very red to us. Okay, and then more, some more orange. Okay. one right there all 
All right, so look at that. We have, or I have created from blue to orange and all the values that are mixed into it. You're going to do this one, the value chart, three times, so maybe blue, red, and yellow. And then this one you're gonna do three times. So each time you do it, you're gonna choose a different complementary color. Remember, complementary colors are colors across from each other. So I did blue and orange. Maybe you do green and red. Just make sure, or yellow and violet, or even the tertiary, yellow, orange, and blue violet. Make sure when you're doing complementary, you're doing colors across from each other and slowly mix them together. You cannot just choose random colors and see how they mix together. They need to be complementary. All right, I will um, put this up and we will do this um, to get, or I will have you show me um, this and if you have any tr problems, I will troubleshoot with you. All right, talk to you soon, bye.